Fraser coming through and uh, going very well at the moment. 68.768, so that's a big improvement for Pisa. They're going well. And uh, setting a very good pace to Pisa car. I think uh, if it hadn't been for their problems yesterday, they'd be running a lot higher up the run order. And looking very neat and tidy as well. There's very few cones being clipped, so this is going to give them a good time. If they can keep it up like this. Driver really getting into it now and uh, beginning to push the car. Head by come completing lap number one. And uh, 87.615 on the first lap for uh, Midvider. And uh, I have a feeling they're going to see the check it, the uh, blue flag pretty soon. That's an improvement for Pisa, 66.504. So, good seventh lap for them. And uh, they're eking down the mileage quite quickly. And uh, Mittvada do see the blue flag. They're going to be pulling over in a second for Pisa. And uh, Mittvada pull into the passing bay. Away go Pisa. He's a car looking really good now. Makes a great, great noise as well. And uh, we've got the University of Roma, our uh, second Italian team that we're going to see out on track. And uh, they're rolling forward now, car 91. They, uh, they were another team that had quite a lot of stuff yesterday. Lap number eight complete for Pisa now. So, Mittvada complete two laps, Pisa eight laps down, and uh, the Roma car ready to go. Engine still not sounding particularly clean on the uh, Roma car, but hopefully they should rectify. They've got their problems rectified, and away they go. So three cars out on track now, and. Uh, Pisa car looking very good on this lap. Nine laps down for them now. And uh, through the final chicane, cross the line. This looks like it's going to be a good time. 68.409 for Pisa. And uh, Roma certainly look like they're going well on their first lap. Midbarder come through once more. Lap number three complete for them. And uh, Good improvement on time, 79.538 for them. But the driver of the Pisa car really beginning to push it now. Looking very neat and tidy. I haven't seen a single cone for the Pisa car yet, which is uh, what this is all about, making sure you're as neat and tidy as possible. As Roma come through to complete lap number one. guys like that. Fantastic looking nose on the uh, Roma car. Here come Pisa. I think that's 10 laps down for them now. So, three laps to go before their driver change. And a great time, 65.646. So they are going well. They're going to uh, catch very shortly the Roma car. And uh, 
Rome will have to move into the passing bay. As Mitt Varda come through once more, car 32. And 80.144 for them. These are looking very good though. They're only uh, going to be two laps away from their driver change at the end of this lap. We've got uh, our next three cars sat ready and waiting, which is the uh, Hamburg car, University of Applied Sciences Hamburg. And uh, we've also got Mumbai, who had a very good run yesterday in autocross. They, uh, they went very well. They actually had the first Indian team to complete all the dynamic events on, a, uh, on the first day. And 67.18718 for Pisa on that last time by. They're uh, only a lap and a half away from driver change now. So good to see and I think their second driver yesterday was actually the fastest of the two so I think this could be a really good time for Pisa. A bit up, they're picking up the pace now. Just into it a lot more. And do they cross the line? 78.458 for them. Roma, they're going well. 85.266 and uh, Roma now two laps down there on their third as Pisa come through once more. Looking very neat and tidy. Oh, as I say that, they clip the first cone that I've seen. <laughs> so still a very good performance. And uh, the Pisa guys, they're gonna see the last lap for this time round. Roma looking good. Engine sounding an awful lot cleaner than yesterday, which is good. Mitt Wilder, car 32. Picking, uh, picking up their pace a bit as well. But certainly at the moment, all eyes on the Pisa car. And uh, Mitt Wilder actually stopped down the bottom end of the circuit. Not sure quite what the problem is for them. But uh, they get past, so they haven't lost too much time there. And uh, I think the Mittwalder car has just had a quick spin. It's pointing the wrong way. Needs to come through, last lap board for them. So one lap away from driver change. And they have really have set a very good pace so far. And uh, there's a broken wishbone, broken A-arm on the Mitvada car. So that's the reason they've stopped. So, yeah, broken wishbone is pretty terminal. That's the reason they've had their spin. So, very unlucky for those guys. They were, uh, they were going well, but uh, a, rear, a rear wishbone has broken. Pisa, though, going well. They're going to be in this lap for driver change. And uh, we'll very shortly see our third car out on track. Here come Pisa though, they're at halfway. Fantastic job by them. And uh, very sensibly, driver brings it in nice and slowly. Cools everything down. Hopefully no problems restarting. And. Uh, the next car we're going to see deserves a big cheer. It's Mumbai. Car 87 pulls forward. These guys, uh, they don't have the uh, the manufacturing capabilities of uh, some of the 